Hey, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to go ahead and um, give you an overview of what's going on in the California real estate market. This is the latest from the California Association of Realtors. So for the month ending July, monthly sales and price statistics, here we go. Um, here's a snapshot of what's going on. Basically, existing home sales, the number of transaction is down 31.1% year to date. Um, this is pretty much in all the regions in the in California. They're all down. The median sales price for California right now is 833910 That's up 2.8% year to year when compared to uh, July of 2021, but that's down 3.5% when compared to June of 2022 which you're going to see as we go through the report that it's pretty much the same thing in all regions. Now, in terms of unsold inventory, unsold inventory is climbing. Right now, it's at 3.2 months. This means that if um, no other inventory comes in on the market, um, it will take 3.2 months to sell all those inventory. And that's up 68.4%. Um, and then days on the market, it's also up to 14 days. But, you know, let's just put this into context. 14 days is still short. It, that's still a good number. Moving on to regional numbers. Southern California, just like I said, existing home sales, the number of transactions both down year to date and year to year. Um, the existing home price up 6.3% year to year, but that's actually down. That's down 2.7% on a month-to-month -month basis okay let's move on to the central coast same thing with existing home sales both down year to date and year to year um existing um home price 953,000. that's up 9.3 percent when compared to july of 2021 but that's down 3.7 percent when compared to june of 2022 basically the same number in terms of uh inventory around three months 13 days in 100% uh, list to price ratio. 100% list to price ratio also in Southern California, meaning if you price your home at 950,000, it gets sold at 950,000 on average. Moving on to the Central Coast, again, same thing with existing, um, uh, the number of transactions, uh, they're both down. Price-wise, it's up 6.2% year to year, but month over month, that's actually down 3.4%. In unsold inventory, same thing as um, Southern California and uh, Central Coast, around three months, 12 days um, median on the market and 100% list to price ratio. Bay Area housing snapshot, same thing with the number of transactions, it's all down. And the price, median price, is a bargain at 1.3 million um down 100,000 from 1.4 last uh last month June 2022 that's down 7.1% and as you can see there down 0.1 year to date um uh, unsold inventory it's a little bit uh, less than um uh the the other three regions that we just talked about median sales price uh median days on the market is about the same 15 days and sales to price uh, just a little bit of over a hundred percent, which is for all intents and purposes the same. Now let's go to the far north. So the far north is the only thing that's kind of different in terms of the existing home price. It's up uh, 1.3 percent year to year, and also the same uh, price uh, month to month, 1.3 percent. But number of transactions also down. And here's another thing different with uh, the far north: 98.6 list to price ratio, meaning if you're selling it at 405,000, you're getting a little bit less than that, two percent less than uh, your asking price. Okay, let's move on to sales. So th this 295,000 units is the lowest for the first time since the pandemic lockout that was expected by most everyone every forecast out there was basically saying that uh, the number of transactions for this coming year was going to go down you know primarily because we've been crazy uh during um during the pandemic and last year so this is not a surprise if you will but this was the biggest drop since the shutdown that we had let me show you this so bay area had a 40 percent drop and i can tell you firsthand that in the east bay you can feel it that slowdown is there now the slowdown is there but uh price wise it's still resilient because at the end of the day it's still a seller's market it's not like people are giving away houses so the number of transactions are down but the price is staying um staying high and i'll, I'll show you the um at the end of this video i'll show you the latest 
um, forecast um, for the for the entire United States in terms of what the experts are saying that where they think uh, home prices will be. Southern California, uh, the difference between Southern California and um, uh, here in the Bay Area, Southern California has been going down for the last couple of months. So Central Valley, double digit uh, drop. Sales by region, we've already gone through that. It's it's all down. Here's here's one thing. Um, sales dropped by double digits in all price points. If you follow the channel, um, one of the things that I mentioned before was that uh, the upper segment of the um, the price range, the million dollar homes and above, that was like the fastest growing at one point. Now we see that the sales are sales are dropping in pretty much all price segments. Sales of million dollar homes pulled back further after reaching a recent high. And again, just like I said, we we saw this. That's why that's why our medium price was uh, actually getting pulled up higher because there were a lot more sales going on in the a million dollar and above range than the the lower segment. So that's why the medium price in California was kept on just going higher. Pending sales had the second worst decline since the pandemic shut down. So no surprise there. But however, what I can say is that I think the difference between this and the pandemic. Uh, after the pandemic, we saw um, we saw pending sales go up again. Um, I think we continue to see pending sales go down um, as we go further into the year, unless we see um, mortgage interest rates go down below five percent. If it, I think, if it reaches uh, that four and a half again, we start to see this climb up. Um, climb back again in transactions and probably price again. California median home price at lowest level in five months. That kind of sounds good, but when you look at the numbers, it's still 833,000. That's still high, but we're definitely, I don't know if you call three three months, I guess three months, it's um, three consecutive months that uh, you can you can call a trend. So we'll see what happens in um, in August. In, in all in all likelihood, I think that still goes down. The median price for condos, 645,000. That's down 2.3% uh, month to month, but that's still up 7.5% from July of 2021, as you can see there, from 600,000 to 645,000. Okay, median price growth, condos continue to outpace single family homes. I think um, I've, I've said this before in this, um, in this channel that I believe that there's a lot more people uh, trying to buy condos and townhomes, primarily because uh, of the lower price. So that's why most people are kind of saying, hey, if I can't afford a single family house, I'd rather buy a condo or a townhouse rather than renting. Sales price to list price ratio easing as market becomes less competitive. Now, this is a good thing. That's the 100%, 100.1, the 98 point uh, something that I showed you earlier. So that means it's getting less competitive. So as you can see here, the, the trend line here, it's still above the 100%, but it's going down and it's it's kind of it's kind of there and I, and I i think if it goes above 100% you're not going to go you're not going to see crazy numbers like we had in 2020 and 2021 probably going to be we're looking at 3 to 5% over the asking if at all you know share of homes sold above asking price bounce back to normal so meaning we're kind of going back to that 50%, 40% range um, when you're trying to sell your house um, in terms of getting above asking. So this is just a list of, uh, of the counties that uh, properties got sold for above asking. As you can see, San Francisco, 75% of homes sold above asking. And then let me show you Alameda, where I'm at. What's that? 60 plus over... Uh, 60% uh, over asking. And at the other end of the spectrum, Siskiyou, just 11% of uh, homes uh, that's uh, for sale were going over asking. So inventory, we talked about inventory earlier. As you can see, back in July of 2021, it was only 1.9 months or you know a little bit less than two months. Now it's 3.2 months. That's way over one month. So it's, it's definitely climbing. So that's something to keep an eye out. Inventory reached the highest level since the late 2019. As you can see there, 
um, inventory was going down, going down, and then now we're going up a little bit. Active listings continue to improve as, as the market shifts. This means that if you're a buyer, now is the time because you now have you now have selection. It's not a lot of selection, but selection none the least. And if you're competing, you're probably just going to be competing with one or two offers, which is much better than competing with 10 to 15 offers. Active listings reach the highest level since late 2019. Again, this is a good thing, but we're still, if you look at this, uh, the highest over here, I think is September, 2018, that's still way below where that was before. So we're definitely still short of inventory, not only in California, but um, the US as a whole. New listings dip as the market approaches the end of the buying season. Yeah, you know, cause usually spring and summer is the, um, the busy time in uh, real estate. And so we're probably going to see those numbers go down um, just because people are going back to uh, going back to school. Not a lot of people want to move uh, during the school year. And as we head into winter and then the holidays, we're probably going to see those numbers uh, go down further. New active listings exceeded sales for the fourth consecutive month. Again, this is a good sign if you're a buyer. More listings means more choices, less competition. So overall supply level continues to improve as sales momentum slow. Now, I don't wanna see the glass half empty, but the supply is going up primarily because buyers, the demand is, is, is going down. So even though supply is going up, it's not really at a level wherein we can say that it's starting to be a, a buyer's market. I hope that makes sense. And this shows that supply is significantly improving in all regions, not only in California, but all over the United States. Housing supply improved in most counties. You have Yuba at the highest and at the other end, Del Norte is actually down. Actually, what do you, what do you see here? Sonoma, Napa, and Lassen and Plumas all down. Alameda County, where I'm at, it's still up, meaning uh, more inventory. Market competitiveness, look at that. In July of 2021, it only took eight days to sell a property. In July of 2022, 14 days, almost double. But again, to put that into perspective or to context, 14 days is short. If you watch the channel, I've said it before, it used to take 21 days here in the Bay Area, at least 21 days. That was normal in the other parts of the country or in uh, of California, it was 30 days. Uh, but now 14 days, even though it's higher, that's still very good. Price reductions, that's one thing that works seeing a lot of lately you know there's a lot more price reductions going on primarily i think because um number one most sellers are not accepting the fact that the uh, the market has shifted so what they're doing is they're still pricing their house as if there's no other competition on, on there one thing is for sure is that you need to price your house properly if you want it to sell. And finally, like I said, growth in price uh, uh, on, on the share of listings that with price reductions, it's going up and it will still continue to go up. I think for the next several months as more sellers, they're still not realizing what type of market it is. But I think as we head into next year, we're going to see this kind of taper off as uh, sellers realize that hey, it's a different market and they start pricing their home properly so that's the latest report from the um, for the California housing market update basically what I think what's gonna happen is we're gonna continue to see more of this thing happening meaning um, transaction numbers going down uh, prices kind of stabilizing I wouldn't say go down because uh, again uh, I'm gonna show you the uh, what the forecast is for uh, basically for the entire uh, entire United States forecast for prices is still going up. As a matter of fact, they updated the forecast to go up higher from the beginning of the year, which I actually thought that forecast was gonna head down a little bit, but it's up again. So if you're a buyer out there, please note that homes that are that are priced well they, they're basically good and this is also for for you sellers out there homes that are priced well and uh, they look good it's it's it, it's turnkey those are the homes that are still getting uh, multiple bids getting over asking price hey I hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions please let me know comment below have a great day